Today we're talking about biofiltration, why you need it in your reef, and how you can add some to it. Coming up. What's up guys, I'm Cody Grates with Real Reefing TV, helping you save time, money, and frustration in the real reefing hobby, sharing my experiences and knowledge. If you're new to this channel, consider hitting the subscribe button. There's new content coming to you um, on the regular with awesome things. They're gonna help you save time. Number two, it's gonna help you save money. Number three, you're gonna save frustration because you're gonna save time and money. So, subscribe. Anyways, this week we're talking about biofiltration, how it helps your reef, why you need to keep it in your mind when you're thinking about how you're maintaining your reef and how you can add some easy biofiltration to your tank. So nowadays, reefs are more and more moving towards a, a simpler scape, less rock, maybe even no sand like I have in this uh, 10 gallon nano tank here behind me. And when we do that, we remove a lot of the surface area that the beneficial bacteria in our tanks get to populate on. So we need to supplement that in other ways because biofiltration or just that bacteria that consumes the ammonia and nitrate and turns it into less uh, toxic elements, those bacteria are very important and very beneficial to the life cycle of your tank and it keeps it moving forward. This happens in the ocean, but you have millions and millions of square miles of surface area for this bacteria to populate on. In our tanks, we have very little. And when we use a minimalistic uh, seascape or aquascape, it reduces the amount of surface area that that beneficial bacteria can live on. And so it's really important that we supplement that. So what can you use to supplement the beneficial bacteria or surface area that the beneficial bacteria can live on. How can you add that to your tank? Well, you could do probably the simplest thing is just pick up some extra live rock at the store, throw it in your sump. You can pick up live rock rubble or you can pick up big pieces like this. And bonus thing is that if you pick up big pieces like this and you throw them in your sump, it's ready to go. If you ever need to take a rock out and replace it with a different one, this rock is already populated with the beneficial bacteria and it's ready to go. And it probably doesn't look ghost white like this one does because this one's been dry for many, many months. Another thing you can do, which is a little bit more involved, is you can add a refugium, something like this with some extra substrate like this miracle mud or you could add some sand in the bottom of it. And that extra surface area that comes in contact with the water, that beneficial bacteria can live on it and populate there as well. The one thing I do love about refugiums like this one is that it gives a great place for your copepods, amphipods, mycid shrimp, and things like that to populate in there and live and not have any sort of predators in the tank. Now, what you see right here is a bag of ceramic Biomedia. This is something that I picked up on Amazon. It's super inexpensive and um, and I wanted to test it out on this tank. Now what I've used in the past are these. This is, uh, this is really well cured. This is the Marine Pure Ceramic uh, Biospheres. You can pick these up. They, they basically have hundreds of thousands of little tiny holes and, and, uh, and crevices and stuff like that in there. This is very, very light. Um, I don't know exactly like what the weight of this actually is, but they're very light um, because they're so porous and that gives a lot, a lot of um, area, surface area for the beneficial bacteria to grow on. Now, some people are going to say, yeah, but it's just a detritus trap and a nitrate trap and it's a ticking time bomb. Nah, nah, I'm not buying into all that. I think that... Um, if you're really worried about that, you can shake them out in the salt water themselves. If you do a water change, throw them in that water change bucket and um, like clean water change water, not like really nasty stuff. But you take that water out, you can s swirl them around in there and kind of break loose any detritus that's, that's sitting in here or on them and then plop them back in the tank. They know none the wiser. The beneficial bacteria knows none the wiser. And it, it's still going strong in your tank. 
Um, but these provide a great deal of surface area for the beneficial bacteria to grow on. And as a bonus, because these holes are, um, are just large enough, but small enough, copepods, amphipods, um, probably not amphipods, but more mainly copepods, this is a breeding ground for them. And that is a great food source for your tank. So I really love these. Um, the reason why I got these is I wanted to compare them to the Marine Pure brand. These, um, this is about, this is 200, 2,000 grams or one gallon of Biomedia. So you can kind of see that for size. Um, they feel like they're probably much smaller spheres, but it's not, uh, it's not the size of the sphere that matters. Ladies and gentlemen, it is the bacteria. So anyways, we're going to cut this open, we're going to give it a look-see, and we're gonna, I'm going to show you some shots of the pore structure and, um, and how, they, uh, how they look and compare to the Marine Pure. Um, really, the main, the, the, the biggest thing that we can look at to see what is, um, what's better is really by weight. I'm not a drug dealer, so I don't have a random little scale laying around where I can measure grams <laughs> um, for actual like square... Um, actual volume size and, and get all scientific with you. I think we'll just take a look at it and maybe we'll make a decision from there. We're gonna throw some in this tank and then I'm gonna throw the rest of them in the uh, in the big uh, 300 gallon tank in the sump down there. It's just again, it's added biofiltration. You can't go wrong. So you can have too little and not enough bacteria can populate. So I'd rather have more surface area for that biological filtration to happen than not. So we're gonna try these and uh, get it cut open and see what we got here. This is pretty good packaging here. Oh, that's nice. They come in a little uh, bag here, like a mesh, um, a mesh bag. And it's kind of dusty. It's just got a little bit of dust to it um, from the ceramic in packaging. But, I mean, I mean, let's be honest, that's pretty good and minimal breakage in there oh that looks good oh God. oh man this is what it looks like there we go we'll get a focus on there it probably should be um rinsed the pouch is uh it's got a zipper here so that's pretty neat um so we can open it up you can take some out if we need to move them to a different thing so this is what they look like. So right off the rip, I will say the the structure of the pores in here are definitely not as complex and well designed as the Marine Pure. So you definitely, I mean, I can tell you right now, like just by looking at these, they definitely have a good amount of surface area on them. I just, uh, I don't think it's as good as this. But I'm gonna use them because one, I paid for them. Number two, I still think they're a great value for what you get, right? Um, because a small box of these will run you 30 bucks. Small box, I mean, you know, you're probably talking like that, right? Um, will cost you 30 bucks. Whereas this entire one gallon bag cost me, what did it cost me? I don't even remember. Let's see what it's cost. So the one gallon bag of the Aquanit uh, biospheres, ceramic biospheres cost me $25 on Amazon. And so, I mean, obviously that can change. I'll throw a link in the description below if you wanna check it out. I still think that for what you get with this is certainly worth, um, worth what you're paying for it. Um, just for the bio, the bio uh, filtration aspect of it. And that's what it's there for. Now, if you're working with a much tighter space um, and you've got the money to do it, I would definitely go with the uh, Marine Pure Biospheres. I'll link that up in the description as, as well for you so that you can check those out and make the decision from there on what you think would fit your system the best. So for one gallon of the Marine Pure blocks, you're looking at about $62 versus $25 for the for a gallon of the uh, the Aquanit, we'll just call them the Amazon uh, Biospheres. So, like I said, 
you're getting a great value are you getting as much biostructure on each individual sphere no i don't think you are however you're definitely getting a great value when it comes to wait is that trademarked by walmart you're definitely getting a a good value huh um for for buying these i think this is definitely a uh, a good investment if you're running on a on a tight budget and you need to add something to hey like you know what this would be good for a pond as well this is like a lot so we're gonna add some to this system here we're gonna add some to 300 and we're gonna take it from there and that is how i am upping my biological filtration game let me know what you're doing to up your biological filtration game. Let me know in the comments below. As always, if you haven't subscribed yet, make sure you hit that subscribe button right there. And you can check out some videos, other videos right here. I'm out, y'all. Stay salty. Peace.